Hey, how's it going? Mick here. I just wanted to show you guys that um, it's all snowy today out there. So we got a couple inches last night. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do today is uh, I've got to go down the shop and see Devin and pick up those tail lights I dropped off. And um, I am going to do a little bit of a drive over to Jeffersonville, Indiana and uh, show you a good skyline view of uh, Louisville. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But uh, first, I'm gonna go downstairs and um, do some filming over there behind the garages and just show you the, the snow and stuff. So I'll see you down there. It's me kitty. You like that water? He's drinking that fresh water. He loves that snow. Where's the other one? Hey buddy. <clears throat> Let's give a bit of a look there. Snow makes everything look pretty, in my opinion. <clears throat> so here I am downstairs. Um, when I first came to the States, snow was such a massive novelty to me. I mean, I still love it. I think it's awesome. Um, people cry so much when it snows. Um, so in Australia, you don't get a lot of snow. It snows up in the high country, in the hills and the mountains. But down, down in the lower areas, you're lucky to get maybe an inch of snow every few you know years like four or five years so so yeah you just don't get it and i'd never ever seen snow in a built-up area before i came to the states and the first time i ever went to chicago it bloody snowed eight inches in two hours so i'm running around the city taking photographs and stuff like a little kid at three o'clock in the morning it was awesome. But anyway, I'm about to grab the car and uh, clean it off. And then I'm gonna go over to Jeffersonville and then we'll go over to the shop. And look who's up there in the window. I wanted to take him with me today. Normally the whole car's covered, but like this one right here. But uh, yeah, just a window. So, give this a wipe off. So if there's any um, any Californians and Texans and Floridans and Alabamans and all them watching, you guys probably never see this stuff, eh? Now they're both up there. Look at them, little ones. They're such good friends now. They hated each other when I first saw them. Sorry, it's hard to zoom in. So, uh, as normal, we're a few miles away from um, downtown Louisville, and then um, we'll be scooting across the Second Street Bridge over to Indiana. So I've got to go into a bit of um, downtown Louisville, and um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is do a little filming through the streets, because downtown Louisville, uh, it's, it's beautiful, it's pretty historic down there. So yeah, that's um, what's going to going down. So uh, Louisville's about three or four miles away right now. So uh, I'll see you down there. All right, I'm just coming into Louisville right now. Um, I'm sorry about that little fleck on the screen. Um, I think there's like a hairline scratch over the screen cover I have on the lens. So I ordered some new screen covers. So hopefully, um, you don't have to put up with that for too much longer. Zone, it's a pain. So I'm real sorry about that. 
But um, yeah, about to get off the expressway here and uh, go downtown and then we're gonna scoot over the second street bridge, which is right there. Look how they've painted half of it yellow and the rest is still steel or silver, whatever you wanna say. And it's the Yum Center again. So yeah, uh, just gonna get off here. Now that is the Belle of Louisville right there. I couldn't remember it the other day when I went by it. So yeah, that uh, paddle steamer. They have paddle steamer race here once a year too, like during Thunder over Louisville. So that's the front side of the Yum Center right there. Um, most of the huge concerts that we have in city are, are there, like the big bands. Um, we're just going to go through here and do a, a blocky to get back to Second Street. The old spaghetti factory there, that, that place is awesome to eat. So yeah, just going to go up around this corner and then back onto Second Street. And there's the Yum Center once again over on the left and straight ahead we go up over the second street bridge. Now um a vlog I did the other day, I mentioned how um there's a movie called Stripes. It's a real old movie with Bill Murray in it. And um he is coming over this bridge in the start of that movie. Um yeah, it's it's a it's a really funny movie. If you're into comedies and stuff, check it out. Stripes with Bill Murray. But um, yeah, so this is 2nd Street Bridge. Um, a few years ago in my 350Z, I was unfortunate to um, get a tire blowout in the other lane and um, I ended up clipping a car and um, doing some damage to the front end, but uh, I got pretty lucky because it was, um, it could have been really bad because it's such a narrow bridge. So yeah, there we've got the Ohio over there. There's the Kennedy Bridge. And then there's an old train bridge over that side. Not sure if you can see it. I'm sorry about the rain on the windshield. It's kind of making it a little messy. But anyway, I'll see you down at the bottom uh, at the lookout. All right, so I'm over at the lookout. And there is Louisville right there. She's a bit shaky, so sorry about that. So yeah. There's the lovely yellow 2nd Street Bridge. I think I prefer it the old steel silver color. Pan around. And there's the railway bridge. Guess they're doing some works down the bottom there. Just across the street here. That's, um, that's a hairdresser's and an ice cream shop. So during the summer it's, um, it's pretty cool to come down here and grab like a smoothie and just chill. So, interesting fact about that concrete right there. The week they put that in, I came over here with my 350Z and I put it on there and we did a photo shoot, obviously with the city in the background. And um, we got finished with the photo shoot and then a cop comes around and he's like, you better get your car off that fresh concrete. I mean, it was set, so there was no problem, but it was pretty funny. So, yeah, but, um, so, it's so nice to come over here and just chill out. I mean, have a look at it. It's beautiful. So nice. And then, as of course, the ice cream parlor right there. So, what I might do now is, uh, I just go for a drive down there towards the, um, the train bridge and show you a little more about that. So I uh, walked up to the um, up top of this little hill. Doesn't look like much in the video, but I was worried I was going to fall over. But there's the train bridge right there. So yeah, they're definitely doing some work on that. And just behind that, you can see that uh, water sort of torrenting right. See over right there. That's the Falls of Ohio.
can see the falls right there. And Louisville International Airport's not far away, so there's a jet going in. It's beautiful down here today. You can see all the footsteps come up this hill today. Little kids have been sledding down here. It's funny. Not much of a ride. So that's obviously where we are. Right there. Yeah. The park looks so pretty with the snow in it. I've never been over here like this in the snow before. Uh, so you're right here under the train bridge. There's the city over there behind the trees. All right, so that was the train bridge. Pretty a train. Oh, it's a pretty pity a train didn't come across it. I was hoping one would so I could show you the train. But um, that's it. So I am probably gonna head to the shop now. I just wanted to stop real quick and show you guys these flood, flood walls. They, um, they actually used to use these. Uh, you can see the grooves right there, like right here. That's, um, they used to literally drop a door in there so that they could just shut the flood water down. So you can see the wall goes all the way over there, like over here, this area here. But yeah, crazy. I don't know when they stopped using them. Alrighty, so we're cruising back over to, um, to Louisville and then I'm going over to the shop. So I've just got to get through here and um, get back onto like 9th street i think and uh yeah then i can head on over there so i'll see you at the shop i know i said that before and i'm sorry but this time i mean it so yeah i'll just walk get through here a little bit good old yum center those uh buildings the gold house there with the lighthouses on the top or it's near the gold house rather not the gold house anyway so I don't know how many of you guys are baseball fans but the world famous Louisville Slugger Museum is right there and that is where they actually um, actually make the Slugger bats. so the um, funny thing about that bat is it's actually a giant tree that they made it to one, one piece I'm just kidding it's not really it's um it's metal car see them flex I'll get that fixed I'm sorry anyway so I'm down at the shop just picking up the headlights for um there's Chris hey Chris picking up the headlights for the Z and then we're gonna go in so I will take you guys to Paranoid car's looking sick eh yeah all right guys I told you I'd uh hook up with this while I'm at Baranos. so here I am this is what I got where you never you don't polish them. That's what you do. That's that's ten thousand grit right there. <laughs> no, this. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's four thousand. The, the uh, tail lights. Four thousand five. Uh, they're going. Devin's just finishing them off. Like, right? All the so way up. Take them with me and get them on the Z. Yeah. And there's the G8 sitting there with an aluminium. Look at that face. Okay guys, so we got everything done in the shop. There's the tail lights all nice and polished. Um, I just wanted to say I really enjoy the fact that you guys want to see my vlogs and stuff. And I know, you know, sometimes they're not super exciting or anything like that, but it's me life and I'm as real as I could be for you guys. 
what you see is what you get. This is how I am in real life. So, I, you know, I really appreciate you. And I want you to think about something. When it comes to yourselves, be real, be yourself, and always remember, it takes a lot more energy to be cruel to someone than it does to be kind. So in finishing up, appreciate you so much. As usual, give me a like, subscribe, and um, I'll uh, see you soon. Peace out, guys.